Warning, this video is intended for a mature audience. You understand? Viewer discretion is advised. Yay! <laughs> All right, this is Billy Bob Tanley here, people, and this is a request from King Desmo, and it was uploaded by The Geek Critique, and the latest video is The Downfall of Donkey Kong, Part 1, Conga Line Geek Critique. Okay, let's check it out. Yay. Here we go, The Geek Critique, man. He loves to talk about Donkey Kong. Yeah. What's this? DK Rap. What about it? The DK Rap Up. Alright. The buyout error. Okay, here Donkey we go. Donkey Kong 64 might have been a misstep as a game, but it was a critical hit in sales. The yeah, franchise yeah. was still a powerhouse, and a year later, Rare released a port of Donkey Kong Country to the Game Boy Color. It was uh, sort no. of the companion Donkey Kong Land S game to DK64. It even runs on the Land Engine. I never seen I this. I always get though. a kick out of seeing a game running on vastly inferior hardware like this. There's basically oh, never mind. No I did see the game some now, of this. But it was really cool to have a portable DKC back in 2000. It's also uh, a lot harder than the Super NES version. Just no. Where it kept the same large character sprites, but with the stage layouts on this tiny screen, it's shitty. You had a lot less time to react. It was obvious to everyone that the future was bright for the big ape. No one, seemingly like not even Rare itself, SNES. had any reason to suspect otherwise. At E3 2001, Nintendo showed off a trailer for what was to be the Thrilla Gorilla's yeah, first GameCube game, Donkey Kong Donkey Racing. Donkey Kong Racing. I a game Diddy that could tie up Diddy me. Kong Racing's loose ends, bring back our old favorites, I never and seen unite this. all the characters and worlds that Rare had spent the last eight years building. And as awesome as DK what? Racing looked, can you imagine what, what a new mainline Why you platformer might look sudden? like on the GameCube? Because I did not expect to look like this. It coming. What the shit? It may take two years. It may take four years. It may take six years. It's coming, huh? But it's coming. It's not coming. Oh, I remember reading those words on the dilapidated, antiquated uh, old well, never seen it, so. com way back in 2001, and I got GCN, chills. Huh? Uh, by the way, weren't fan sites great? Web 2.0 or 3.0 or whatever on nowadays, that's fine and all. But, but there was a lot of charm what? and the passion in There's front trucks. of these badly coded, What's he doing badly here? written, horribly designed, barely functional. Okay, never mind. Maybe fan sites deserve to die out. It's yeah, that was terrible. being dedicated to your fandom. Who the fuck's Wait. this? What? The famous Heil Slush Russell of DKFine.com is more than a mere echo of a bygone era? What? You're still here on the internet to this day? Fuck what? yeah! Check out our Patreon, subscribe to the Conversation Podcast on iTunes, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and YouTube! Really? That's right, Heil, and don't forget our Twitch Get to the channel. game, man! Chad McKenna is here too. The fake paid actor Chad McKenna. Dude, I loved your work in the Sea of Thieves trailer. The sail's blocking my vision, okay, so I'm, you I'm... need to tell me where to steer. I'm is this the sponsor water, thing? Chad, Didn't I also see you in a pizza commercial oh, shit, one time? Man. But okay, look. I know who you guys are. I'm ready for you guess. to get back to the, the founders of DK era Vine, stuff. So you've brought your satiric yet earnest fandom to help me critique some Donkey Kong no, games, No, right? it's just needs to be no, you. Josh, we're just here to make sure that you don't besmirch the good name of Donkey Kong Country 3 Dixie Kong's Double Trouble again. We watched your retrospective. We see well, that you've disgraced you get to yourself it. on the altar of public taste. Why are you holding the mic? Frankly, mark? I've never been more disgusted. The well, brother's got, uh, better, better these than six. Marks now With them, you get off 14 times. Even that statement is less revolting than the Geek Critique's Donkey Kong Country 3 Dixie Kong's Double Trouble review. Look, dude, we can agree to disagree, but I'm not the one who said that DK64 was better than Donkey Kong Country 2. 64 I, I version is not that great. I, do I mean, it's all right. That, the important thing was, if I can... Get back to my video. A new yeah, get back to your video. Arrived, and a new Donkey Kong game was on the point of that? Way. I was hyped for Smash Brothers Melee, but as I read that ridiculous Miyamoto quote on the back of the GameCube box, I knew that the biggest reason I'd bought this system was Donkey Kong Racing. I could not I, wait. I don't know if I've heard of it. Everything changed when Microsoft bought out Rare. Oh, that Microsoft man. Out. Remember, Ruined Nintendo everything. had percent stake in the company, and the deal could kill Banjo's career. People won't realize Fuck. that a lot was changing at Nintendo Conquer, during this died time. Off too. Satoru Iwata had become their new president. 
Howard Lincoln stepped Wrong, down to man. oversee the Nintendo-owned Seattle Wrong, Mariners. Rare lost one of their biggest allies when Ken Lobb was courted by Microsoft. Overnight, Fuck. the entire culture changed at Nintendo, and Rare, who had provided hit after hit for the latter-day SNES era and the entirety of the N64, no longer fit into the company's plans. I wish Cocker I blame would make a comeback. It's the only reasonable explanation. Rare always treated Donkey Kong as their de facto okay, mascot, but at the end of the that. day, he belonged to Nintendo. With the driving force of the franchise unable to develop it any further, Donkey Kong Racing was cancelled, and the superlative That's Simeon's fate was canceled. back in Nintendo's hands. Fuck. And so, we waited. We waited until 2003. 2003. It had been years since the last big game in one of Nintendo's most beloved and respected Metroid. franchises. Surely Nintendo wouldn't screw up by giving the fans who had waited so long something they had like never even fun. asked for. Wait, you can go uh, to first why did we really put Metroid? Oh. Nintendo. What? Nintendo never changes. Just go back because to your original the first style, game man. Of this new era was not a return to You don't form, need to show no. yourself. It was Donkey Konga. Donkey. Oh, yeah, I remember seeing Donkey that now advertised. Set of bongos yeah, on the I don't give a shit about this game. Learn that they are, in fact, bongos. You Donkey Kong doesn't up, know Nintendo. that these are bongos, despite the mm, fact that DK's whatever. instrument in Rare the last game was, of course, bongos. Don't be stupid, Chad. These are different magical no bongos one asked for this. that glow when you clap. And because DK is they nothing about, about the other mystic, game. he declares them the DK bongos. Piece Donkey of and shit. Donkey and decide to become musical superstars for some reason. But first, they'll have to practice. And yep, that's the plot. It's like Konami going thing. to those the slot bongos, machine thing. Those are real. With a solid this hill or something. This is your controller. You play the game by hitting them, uh, and there's even a sensor that picks up when you clap. To be honest, the bongos pathetic, themselves are man. really well made, as Nintendo hardware tends to be, but God, what Yeah, that's okay concept. for a little mini but, game know, Donkey for Kong people, was but we need the main game. And a game where you play that's, this game's way better. Actually be something special. Still it works for good. Final Fantasy now, and it could work for DK. Yeah, what memorable melody I don't give a shit about to? this. Finding Melancholy? Nope! Sticker Bush Symphony? I guess that's not <laughs> uh, in there? No. We get the Smash Brothers version of the DK rap, and oh that, my, my friends, God. is the only Donkey Kong song in the whole game. You got a Fucking few other Nintendo tracks, the Western shit. themes for the Kirby and Pokemon anime, a few generic kid songs like Happy Birthday and Bingo. Donkey Kong's and ruined the here. The playlist is just god awful covers of pop songs. Somebody wants to oh, roll really? uh, This is I sad, man. Shop is too this hurts to look at. Uh, Despite this, Donkey Kong has somehow got a sequel in less than a year with a new set a list sequel? and some new modes. And in Japan, what where the series the was fuck? actually popular, because of course it was, there was even a third Konga. In fact, every fuck region that. released People had like stupid list. shit, so they're gonna get more stupid and shit. And I did begrudgingly kind of enjoy the original just for what What's a wrong stupid everybody? idea it was, but there's a reason nobody is clamoring for a return of this trilogy. No. Donkey Konga 2 remains one of the worst games I've ever played, and is a contender for a worst this Donkey anymore. Kong game of all time. The greatest sin of this game is that they game. somehow even put even it. less DK music in it. It's a game in a North American Donkey version, Kong. they decided not, to try to make it star. trendy by filling it with top 40 music from the early aughts. This meant music that was in no way totally appropriate Who for asked Donkey for this? Kong, like Good Charlotte and Blue Cantrell. As a result, Donkey Kong 2 was the first Donkey Kong game to have I'm a team rating. I hate this game so much. Just give it up, Not man. You're never either. gonna beat it. No thanks to you. At least I had the stomach to play it longer than 10 minutes. What's up with your quality? By my your quality. Choices. The problem was, Donkey yes, Kong was now best. irrevocably chained to this thing. So any Donkey Kong game that came out on the GameCube was gonna have to use it. Even if that game was a 2D platformer. Oh. 2005 saw the release of Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. Pound on the left Stop or right bongo it. to run in those directions. This actually hit hurts. both bongos at once to jump. Clap to stun enemies and grab bananas. God, that sounds stupid. It looks Worse like it's yet, almost a platformer. For no reason other than a seeming lack of respect for anything Rare created, 
The game aimed to be a soft reboot for the whole franchise. No! New animal bodies serve the exact same function as existing ones. For the first time, the Kremlin crew loses their antagonistic Go role. Go back to Sprats. In fact, other than DK himself, no other character from Rare series even makes an appearance. No other character besides, no. and I'm quoting the, the game's director, the banana. The decision was made to excise any and all Rare influence from the title to avoid that not-so-fresh feeling. But on the plus side, we need a Donkey no Kong Country Kong. 4. I will smack your Season 2 Commander Riker wannabe beard off, Josh. Yes, and how does it feel, Hyle, to know that you can never be number one? Hey, hang on a second. I have facial hair too now. Barely. Oh, okay, God. but seriously, if you thought Konga had a poor excuse for a plot, just you wait. I'm going to read Jungle Beat's entire though. story from the manual verbatim. Ah, here it is, wedged into the contents page. Pound anything that gets in DK's way as he conquers the kingdoms and becomes the Fuck king game, over man. Jungle Land. Barnet and Hale. Yeah, that's good enough for a plot. <sighs> Which completely misses the point of Rare's reinterpretation of Donkey Kong. Like real gorillas in nature, he was only hostile when his like family Donkey were Kong. threatened. Nintendo really seemed keen to reinvent Donkey Kong as a toothy grin bearing jackass during this era. Made him so retarded, with all man. Of this going against it, this game uh, is going to suck. With its blatant XPs and its goofy gets cartoon so aesthetics wrong. and its stupid bongo controller. But then you start playing it. You start enjoying a control scheme that has no right to feel this natural and intuitive. Level design is bombastic like and fast paced and this is not what so Donkey Kong is about. Then you find out that the team that designed Jungle Beat would go on it's to create the Mario Jungle Galaxy Beat series, shit. and it starts to click into place. The tone might not feel like a typical Donkey Kong game, but that's easier to forgive nowadays, and I have to admit this is a Just really fun game. go back to the original one I that fans the love. I kind of me from the bongo so much, because I think I'd have had a blast get with more sales. Beat even back in 05. I didn't end up giving it a chance until the new Play Control version for the Wii years later. Here, it controls more like a traditional platform. I played a little bit of Donkey Kong of Returns. Design and mechanics to accommodate that. But it's In just fact, they even expanded the on the story. It's a very different game, they but played the version would be worth your time. It's one of the best examples I can think of, of a concept that just shouldn't work, yet it does. So oh. it's kind of the exact opposite of Kitty Kong. Josh, you need to stop criticizing the third game in the most perfect, wonderful, magical trilogy in the history of entertainment. Nah, I didn't dude, that's part fine. Three. It can I still be a legendary trilogy. Either, Even if one of them is kind of flawed, it's like Return of the Jedi or the Temple of Doom. Oh, I warned you, motherfucker. This ain't necessary. Dude, you, you, you knocked him out. Despite oh. the fact that we're clearly recording this over Skype. There's not a man alive who would fault me for that. So there you go, everyone. If y'all want to watch the original video, the link is in the description. Go check it out and shit. And I'm getting the fuck out here, so yeah, yeah. My name is Billy Bob Tanley, and I approve this message.